Hey guys, Happy here. Welcome to episode 6 of Happy Talks, the series where I talk to different YouTubers and generally have a good time. If you want to be part of this series and appear in a future episode, go down to the description and find the link for the official Happy Talks website. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed today's podcast interview and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss anything. Before we get started, just remember that all of the links from the interviewee will be down in the description. Without further ado, let's get on to today's podcast video. Today, I'm here with Red Archer MC. How's it going, mate? It's good. It's good. How good. are you? I'm doing great, thank you, on this fine... Uh, I would say sunny, but it's getting quite late now. <laughs> on this uh, Monday yeah. evening. It's not Monday evening for you, is it? It's Monday morning. It's Monday morning, yeah. It's Monday morning. We're, we're, we're travelling, time travelling, in this conversation today, in this podcast Back. episode. Uh, so... Tell us about yourself. What do you do on the world of the internet? Oh, I am a 3.6k sub uh, Minecraft YouTuber. I do a lot of high pixel content primarily, uh, but I also do like on rare occasions. I've done like some maps. Uh, back in the day, I actually used to make some maps, so that was uh, that that was way way back. Um, I started my channel about two years ago, so that was around then. Yes, um, I've just noticed that actually, because I pulled up your Planet Minecraft page here, and you did used to do a few things. Uh, what are some of the maps that you used to make? Oh gosh, it's remember the tough part is remembering this. I have to see it myself, <laughs> but because uh, I know I have like a lot of uh, very uh, similar map styles, because I had like one Castle Siege thing. That was, I think, my most popular one. Yes. I had, yeah. Yeah, so there was that 339 one. downloads. Yeah, so that that was definitely the most popular one of mine. Yeah. Um, well, no. And then... F- Firebolt, Ap- Firebolt Af- I can't say, I can't say this. Firebolt Amusement Park. Oh, that's Views. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the Amusement Park. That one was probably my biggest build mm. of all of them. And that one I actually did on my channel, like early on in my channel I mean and then I mean these were like three years ago what made you decide to stop map yeah. making I mean I just started map making initially because I just liked building stuff and commands I was actually really good at commands back then but then like I sort of got into like playing PvP mini games and then or first making PvP mini games and then playing PvP mini games so it was a lot of just building trial and error, building like different concepts. And then actually that led to the creation of people on my channel are very familiar with, which is called Wire Wars, which I developed um, man for and it turned into a huge, huge um, game that or mini game that I started doing on my channel that started doing really well for me at the time. Yeah. Yeah, so I kind of stopped to actually play the game, I guess, because I st- started gaining interest in playing High Pixel and stuff like that. Bed Wars, I guess Bed Wars was the one that really pulled me out of making maps to playing games. Hmm, I mean, that's interesting what you said about the maps, how you prefer playing them than making them, which is funny you say that, because when it comes to me, um, I'm the complete opposite. It's like, I really enjoy, especially unfair maps, I love making them, but boy, do I hate playing them, and I feel sorry for everybody who has to play my unfair maps, but man, they're just so fun to make. You've been there, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Um, (sighs) I don't think I've uploaded it yet, but I need to get to editing that one. But I have played them, and they're quite the, um, F. But, uh, speaking of, like, map making, in, like, my future plans, I am planning on going back through, like, some of these maps Mm -hmm. in a future video. So, that's gonna be a project that maybe people can look forward to, or, um, should, I guess you're hearing it now. So, yeah, I am gonna be going through a lot of these maps and maybe playing them. Uh, on camera so that um, you guys can see the trip down memory lane, sort of. So that's going to be a project coming up soon. Now, by the time people are listening and watching this podcast interview, the map that I've made will be released. Are we talking about the map that I think we're talking about? My most recent one? I mean, I'm going to be playing that 
in a separate video. I was just talking about the maps that I made like three years ago. I'm gonna actually go back, download them, and like play through them. And oh no, we, we were talking about my like, own fair maps. Talking about like the like castle siege and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, I am gonna be doing your unfair maps, but that's a different thing. And what about the new one that I've been teasing? Mm. Yeah, that one too. Uh, I don't know, is it released yet or will it be released? By the time this podcast comes out, it will be released. Okay, gotcha. So yeah, I'll be checking that out soon then. June the 5th. Gotcha. So yeah. So uh, why did you start your YouTube channel? Actually, it's an interesting It's an interesting story because actually this was probably ninth grade two years ago um ish actually no it was over two years ago because this was the beginning of ninth grade for me and i'm in 11th grade uh-huh so uh, this was a, basically before i even started my channel uh, was uh or i heard about this kid at my school who um had a channel with 60 ish subscribers and so as a joke among my friends i basically told them that hey i could probably beat that with the minecraft channel because <laughs> i was totally into like minecraft and so hey i could do that i think i hope uh and then actually it turned out to happen and then at like around 100 subscribers i started to realize that like this is actually something that's like really fun to do and like it's like video projects are <laughs> actually like it's actually like something that i kind of feel passionate about and i want to keep making so then i continued and two years later here we are i mean we started this interview and you flexed on me and now you've told me a story about how you flexed on your friends you gotta stop <laughs> you gotta stop flexing man Sorry, it just happened you know <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, um one million views total wow yeah that's me how did that happen so that's um an interesting story so and i think the root cause is still like i've been trying to figure this out for a while <laughs> and a lot of other people have their own explanations for what happened and i think we're gonna get that into that later yes uh and referring to tenebris and all that so um but after like looking at it and looking at my analytics and whatnot, I I think I've come to the like actual conclusion of what really happened. Because um, a lot of people might know or might not know, there's this different YouTuber by the name of Flank, C YouTuber. So I take his name because what happened to me was very similar to what happened to him. Because if you go through the comments of both of our videos uh which both of them went like crazy viral compared to channel so mine got like 300k his got like 3 million i think it's at 3 million now oh. so that's like crazy the point is like we had exceedingly high view counts compared to other videos on our channel and if you go through the comments you see that a lot of comments say i don't even watch minecraft yet i was recommended this video so I, what I assume happened is recommendations went to people who don't usually watch Minecraft and they start, I guess I got crazy recommendations off of people who are, I guess, newer to the Minecraft scene or not even in the Minecraft scene at all. Right. 100k recommendations later. I mean, that's, that's a lot of recommendations. Like, lots of people... I, yeah yeah so and a lot of the and a lot of evidence like th that is, from my analytics at least is the fact that i had three million minutes of watch time so that's the fact is watch time is uh kind of shows whether how much engagement there was during from those views and so there was a decent amount of engagement from people but also, these are people who don't usually watch Minecraft, so... Hmm. Um, I see you have a series on uh, Battle Dome. Tell us more about Battle Dome. What is that? Well, yeah, Battle Dome was just a fun minigame um, that I uh, kind of recreated from the OG Battle Dome that was done with, like, the pack and, like, all the 
original Battle Dome YouTubers um, just thought it would be fun to play a Battle Dome because it's a fun concept. It's kind of like um, a team versus team thing on a normal, uh, regular world. Uh, but your goal is to protect your obsidian, which uh, in whatever base you have, your side. So basically, it's like Bed Wars mixed with UHC minus the hardcore part of UHC. <laughs> so, yeah. That's a pretty good explanation. I'm sure anyone who has no idea what a battle dome is is now going to be a complete expert on battle domes, thanks to you. <laughs> of course. Oh, dear. Um, so, your proudest moment then? I'm guessing it's the uh, 300,000 view video. I mean, yeah, I think that was a big achievement that, like, of course, when when it initially hit 100k, I was screaming my head off, but um, <laughs> I remember I was in a call with a few people who I knew, and we were all, like, screaming our heads off, realizing that the video had that many views. But I think... Um, honestly, and like my proudest video per se, mm -hmm. but um, like because the video was good and all, but it wasn't like one of my best works. And honestly, going through like a lot of my videos, like I think my proudest moment would have been like reaching, I think my um, 2K special because that one I spent so much time in creating and in creating that you kind of go through like all the memories of like what because i created a montage so i went to kind of went through all the memories of like all the stuff that happened thus far and so i think reaching that point and making that montage kind of that like realization of the work that went into this and like the appreciation of what it's become i mean one of the things that impresses me most about your channel is the quality of your videos doesn't stop you. What I mean by that is right. your videos, like, they're not completely 60 frames per second, they're not high quality, but quality doesn't stop you. You, you keep going and you keep producing content that people want to watch. Um, how, how, what, what advice could you give to people who may not have the best setups, like, probably I, yourself? I, yeah, I, that's exactly, like, where I am the beginning I've never been like I haven't been the guy with like 12 monitors or the guy with like, <laughs> the decent uh my computer is not that great it's uh actually my original computer as of recording this is like I'm still trying to fix it because it completely destroyed itself um oh god uh, yeah so uh I'm working on that but um setup isn't the greatest it's um probably the most simplest uh, 10 year old computer the a uh, basic monitor and uh the mic is actually semi decent so <laughs> um but uh, semi decent that's the keyword yeah um, but like at the end of the day it's not about the setup it's not about the qual quality per se of your videos it's about what you're producing and how you can make it into something more than just a gameplay it's about creating something, creating a product that people will like and people will want to see more of. And that's at the end of the day, the goal of, I think, every YouTuber. And to do that, you just have to be having fun and doing something you enjoy. So I think that's be something you're not like worrying about stressing yourself over or like o overworking yourself to create something but instead you're doing it out of your own free will and you're having fun doing it. You sound like a businessman already. <laughs> I mean, really, as, as you say, it's all about your personality. It's not about having the best setup. It's not about having exactly. the best quality. It's, it's your personality. Exactly. So, here you go, then. Completely out of the blue, go ahead and tell us all your most embarrassing moment. Oh, embarrassing. Embarrassing. Uh, or just uh, in Minecraft general, or because absolutely I mean, anything. <laughs> anything. Let's go to real life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but like I think in YouTube, I guess the most embarrassing moment. 
was actually when, okay, so there's this series that probably most of my viewers who are watching this will know, but I don't know if your viewers might be unfamiliar with, but it's called Survival Plus. It's a survival series, and I've been, I've done four seasons on my channel. Right. So this was, this season one began almost near the beginning of my channel, but season four was about a year ago. So season four, I was going along fine. I recorded, I uploaded, I, I recorded, edited, uploaded, <laughs> all that stuff. And then I made it through half the season. It was like a 30 episode season. So that on its own was a lot of episodes. But around episode 16, I think, 14, 16, wherever it, the season ends, um, I realized that I had half of my season corrupted. Oh. Oh, yeah, and it was mostly my fault because I messed up the video oh. uh, when recording it. I had my settings all messed up and I didn't actually look at the video. <laughs> So I think I'll take th that as my most embarrassing moment because like I had an entire half of the season just gone. Oh uh, dear! I mean, I used to do this like when when I, when I used to use fraps for recording, um, which I've still I've still got fraps actually. It's it's like the, the it's it's the full free version. It's not oh, like. It's not, it's not licensed to me, it's licensed to some random guy. I don't know, but I used to do test recordings all the time, like a 15, I'd be like, This is a test! This is a test for recording! And, and then I'd watch that, and if it worked, fine, full recording. Now I've got OBS, it's just, yep, let's go, record. <laughs> don't worry anymore, just do it. Gotcha, <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, dear. So, where do you see yourself, um, and your channel, where, where do you see yourself going with your channel in the future? So oh, I think a lot of my channel so far has been Hypixel content and that's purely what I've been pushing on my channel at least and it's gotten me uh, where I am and I'm still probably going to continue with that and for the most part I'm going to sustain Hypixel content because that's what I enjoy doing and I think that's what a lot of my audience likes to see hopefully. <laughs> hopefully if I'm doing it Yep, far, fingers but. crossed. Um, but a lot of uh, at least in the near future, because now it's summer and I have more time on my hands. I think Ooh, lucky. That, uh, I think that uh, I'm gonna start working on like bigger projects. I've sort of teased a few bigger projects that I've mentioned, and then I already mentioned earlier that I'm planning on like going through some of my old maps, maybe even looking into making some new, trying to like to make um, newer maps but kind of from a new perspective because na now I'm like I've forgotten everything I've known for map making so like noob attempts mapping I mean uh, if, if you need any help I've got a series on my channel shameless blog <laughs> yeah actually that that's really helpful too so <laughs> that I, I mean it's not completely new because I've seen those but like <laughs> from the larger standpoint I'm not where I was no. So attempting map making, um, and then other bigger projects that I'm not gonna mention quite yet, but and potentially a new season of Survival Plus, which a lot of people have been looking forward to. Ooh. Now we've kind of touched upon this a little bit, but uh, what advice would you have for new YouTubers? Right. So I mean, I think the biggest advice I'd say, and this was. One thing that I realized a little bit later on that was important is you need when you start your channel, I think the most important thing that no one really mentioned is you need to be able to have time. Because at the end of the day, there's so many things that you um, have to do in, just in general in life. And then if you're starting this new big project of creating a channel and if you want to truly invest time into your channel, you need to have that time to put into making these videos. And you can't just be scrambling a video every like week or so, which I may or may not have been doing in the last <laughs> three weeks. Uh, but let's not talk about that. Um, but like when I started my channel, I think that was around ninth grade for me, which was like classes weren't too hard was like going on like at the time so like it was I was literally uploading twice a day at wow. some points 
yeah so that was like crazy i mean i used to do something quite similar where i have uh let's say a video on a monday two on a wednesday and one on a saturday getting those two out on a wednesday with school nightmare (laughs) yeah no i can imagine Mm. because like for me like back then i was literally doing daily and sometimes double uploads which was like that was not healthy (laughs) <laughs> I mean, YouTube normally says it's better to upload more, but funnily enough, I tried doing daily uploads and I think I lasted about a week. And turns out, because I was uploading so much content, the new content was getting, um, what do you call it, like, shared around on the platform, but the old content was, was not getting shared around anymore. So videos that I was releasing, say, yesterday, weren't getting any traction anymore. So I found that doing, say... Uh, maybe three uploads or four as I used to do a week is better than doing say seven a week right that makes sense yeah Yeah. and I think at the end of the day my big advice that I can truly say is make sure you are investing because this YouTube is a project at the end of the day and you have that ability to invest time to this project I mean really like they say it's a hobby but YouTube is a job right from the beginning True, true. Paid yeah. or not. Exactly. And and the other big advice, of course, that I think everyone says, but it's not, it can never be be enough, is mm. that you have to be having fun with what you're doing. I mean, if you're not having fun, then there's no point doing it. I mean, you know, you, you don't have to be like, Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Yeah, you, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you want to be like, Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. I'm bursting a microphone, but who cares? <laughs> oh dear. Uh, so, I was wondering and about this one, but um, how about advice for new... <laughs> oh my gosh, this is going to sound so weird. How about advice for new Hypixel Minecraft players? Hypixel players? Like people who are new to Hypixel? Yeah. Or new to Hypixel in YouTube? Both. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh. I mean... Uh, I I guess Hypixel, the big thing is to avoid repetitive content because that's one of the biggest challenges. Like, if I go through my channel, like, I, I remember there are times where I've literally done, like, 12 bridge videos in a row because I was just having fun playing the bridge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the key with Hypixel content, I think, that uh, is most important that people, I guess, don't do each video is something unique you're doing something that you won't you can't find anywhere else that like because there are so many hypixel youtubers out there that Mm. it is there's plenty of hypixel content to see but if you want to create find an audience create some form of growth at some point um or even just do something that you're still enjoying i guess create something unique and i think as vague as that is it is really the best response i could truly give yeah i mean with youtube um there's really two routes you can take there's variety and one thing and with variety it branches off you've got lots of variety and little variety but with the other pathway just doing one solid thing that can work but you've got to have a really good personality for it to work Right, exactly. So, we're going to move on to a topic that everybody is eager to know about, and I think you know what I'm going to say here. Um, Yeah. Tell us about the whole Tenebrous situation. Tenebrous exposed you for, um, if I remember, view botting. um, Yeah. So, yeah, tell us about this. Uh, We've we've still got plenty of time to go, so uh, take it away. I'll go get a cup of tea. Off you go. (laughs) All right. So, um, this was a few months back, um, when, uh, this happened, uh, actually for me, this happened around, like, lunchtime when I realized that this happened and I was just in the middle of, like, sitting at lunch and I just realized that, hey, I'm getting an obnoxious amount of notifications. And it turns out that this dude with 50,000 subscribers, I think now even more, uh, but he to me for viewbotting, which was the most ironic thing ever, 
but um, I guess it came from uh, that one video that was doing like really well. Yeah. The Skyward's funny moments. Time it had like 360,000 views, so it came from that, I guess. But the um, all was that everyone uh, was com- commenting on my channel that oh my gosh, you got exposed. You your channel is done for. Yet um, even after that, I think I was pulling even more views yeah. than before. <laughs> So, and a lot of my friends and I joke about it now, even, even then, that it was more of a shout out than an exposed video. Oh yeah, I mean, that's it. The ironic thing was, it didn't seem like he was having a go at you. It just seemed like he was pointing some... I mean, it, when watching the video that he released, it didn't even seem like he was saying he is getting viewbotted. It was like, he, he could be getting viewbotted, then again, he could not. It- Maybe not. Yeah. We, not, we, we don't know, but I'm just going to point fingers so I can pull more views because that video did pretty well for me. It did, yeah. So, even for uh, someone that size, that video still did like better than most of the videos. I mean, so, do you still find comments coming to your channel today saying you got exposed? Yeah. I've, I've seen comments. I've got a comment like three days ago from a random dude with like 4,000 subscribers who was just commenting on my video saying, hey, you stopped you botting. <laughs> uh, no, the uh, shout outs uh, no longer have effect because like everyone who originally came from Tenebris' channel to start like disliking or commenting these things all left. So now I'm sort of back down to back to where I started, I guess. So I think at the end of the day, the biggest thing was that he two major points and throughout his video. Uh, first of all, his first point I think was like, I think this dude is viewbotting or someone else could be, I don't know, maybe, mm. maybe not. We'll never really know, but I'm gonna make this video for the sake of it. Just but, because it's content. Yeah. So that was his first point. And it was the, I think the best of all the points really proved the worth of the video but um, uh, the next major point was hey this dude was not doing as well before and now he's averaging 1k views and then he's now has a few videos that are like doing phenomenally well um, these few videos are probably bought it mm. um, because first of all 3k sub channel um, 300k views that doesn't <laughs> add up too well and e- even for me that doesn't add up too well <laughs> no and i think i explained earlier a lot of what my expo- reasoning behind what that what happened mm-hmm. um at the end of the day it was saying hey that's a lot of views for a small channel Does that makes sense so that was his first argument point and fair enough fair enough ignored all the important things like was there watch time? Was there, um, or anything else that kind of substantiated that? Are there people, are there an increased amount of people commenting on the videos? Are there an increased amount of people um, liking or disliking? And I think that also leads into his second point, which was there was not as much um, likes or dislikes as there should be for most videos of that size. Yeah. Okay. If you, as I mentioned before, Flank's video was a similar example because people outside of Minecraft started watching these videos. Then you start to think that, wait, if people who don't watch Minecraft are watching these videos, they're probably not going to interact with the video as much. Mm. I mean, they don't really care for Minecraft content. No, I mean, we all know what you got to do now, don't you? you got to make a Sky Wars funny montage part two. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or actually, no, I think I'd be on part four now. Oh because part three was... So part one did, like, had, like, thousand views, if I remember correctly. Part two, unfortunately, only had 40,000. Only. Uh, oh, only? <laughs> that's, st- then, that, that's still a lot. No, I was just joking. <laughs> yeah, the, that was like crazy on its own. That, mm. And I think that was the first one to start doing well. So that was the first one that I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, it was the one with 360,000 views. 
Um, but and that leads me to like another reason that this happened that I think caused it. Uh, and of course, this is all based on what I think happened and what I've seen in my analytics that kind of substantiate this. At the right. end of the day, there's still watch time. So watch time is you don't like if you bought watch time that that doesn't happen. No. If there's watch time, there's watch time. Is that people are actually like at least a minute of the video or however much of the video they're watching. At least there's some sort of with the video. But um, uh, Skyward's Funny Moments was something that was really big about a year ago or almost two years ago actually now but a year before I released these videos because there was this YouTuber named Dfib um, if any of um, you know who that is uh, anyone watching but uh, Dfib was racking up m almost a million views on some of his Skyward's Funny Moments videos and so those videos were doing crazy good and then Skyward's Funny Moments became a big thing at that time so I think back into the loop sort of racked up a lot of attention that concept back into the loop right it's always done well for even people of smaller channel sizes so that's one of the biggest explanations that it's uh, it's a that word funny moments why wouldn't it do well uh, <laughs> that word funny moments well everybody but, loves sky wars <laughs> exactly <laughs> oh, but you know, it was doing well back when back when it was big it was doing really well i mean here on my channel it's only getting a third of the view that would get for someone of my channel size a year in uh a year previously so yeah so you've got some rather large projects coming up um which to be honest even i don't know about what are some of those are, are, yeah. they, the, are they the maps that you've been talking about youtube videos what what's it gonna be uh, i think maps are smaller projects i've been sort of hinting at something that i'm not fully gonna say Ooh. but because it's a little bit more of a secret project and actually i've been talking with like some other people including like mellow and like other people that i know other youtubers that that I'm gonna work on this project with. But um, to the most I'm gonna say is it is a pretty big project uh, pertaining to like an hour long video. Whoa. And th this is, it's not like a normal high pixel gameplay video. It's nothing of that sort. It's not an animation. I'm not going back to those days, <laughs> but big project. So it's something to look forward to. I'm not really going to say exactly what it is, but it's going to be over the course of the summer. The, mm. These big projects are going to are going to be able to see them. I Whoa, guess. Yeah, so. As far as I'm going to say. And, uh, go on. and earlier, Survival Plus may or may not. Survival Plus will be coming back <laughs> this summer. So. Uh, and remember, That's guys, if you want to go fight. and see any of Red's stuff, all of his links will be down in the description as normal. So, we're nearly at the end, but now it's time for a part I like to call short comedy transitional question, because why not? So, if you could be any type of Minecraft armor, yes, you heard me right, oh. which one would you be and why? Oh, this is an interesting question <laughs> i think i would have to go with the chain armor you know it's so unique and <laughs> i have no idea what i'm doing with this i gotta commit to the chain armor because you know chain armor is so unique i so dare you special. i dare you to change your minecraft skin to just chain armor Oh week. yeah, it's already happening, dude. It's already ha it, it's already Chain happened. Armor. It's already happened. <laughs> you know this, but all right. Next video is gonna be a chain yep. armor. Next Red video, Archer guys, MC. go watch it. Red Archer MC. Links below. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. And like on that note, before we completely lose ourselves, <laughs> um, do you have anything you'd like to say here? You know, to anyone who may be watching today. Uh, in general. In general, any advice? Anything? Any advice? Oh, I mean, I think 
the biggest advice I have for everyone is, you know, uh, always subscribe to Red Archer MC and the Happy Wheels one. I'm glad you said uh, that but, second part. But, of course. Can't go without the um, interviewer. Um, so <laughs> check out um, Happy's videos and stuff and always check out my videos and stuff, you know. There, there's that balance. Oh, and... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Well, anybody, anybody. Anyway, guys, that's been today's episode of Happy Talks. Remember, if you'd like to be part of this series, pop down to the description, look for the website link, where there will be the application form right there for you to fill out. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you're brand new around here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go check out Red Arts for MC. Links below. Also, watch the... Just... I don't know, say hi to the subscribe button, it's lonely. Thanks for watching, and goodbye!